What is up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here, and I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour tonight. I'm excited to have you here. We have our welcome screen showing for everybody right now, and um, <clears throat> everybody's piling in the room. I have a couple of things that I want to talk about uh, tonight, which uh, we'll get to here shortly. Um, everybody should be able to hear me and see my screen. I haven't shared my camera yet but uh, I'll be doing that here in a minute. And um, I do, all right, so everyone should see me now. Everybody see me? My lighting is always messed up in here. I'll get to be a little bit dim, like dark, you know what I'm saying? Um, so GoToWebinar has been giving us a lot of issues lately and that's the for those of you that are new to this that's the platform that we're currently on that we're streaming on um so we're currently on go to webinar and um we're, we're about to to transition over to um zoom i've been kind of nervous about it because i i use zoom almost daily for other meetings but you know, when it comes to streaming uh, with my trainings, I'm very familiar with, you know, how to like easily and quickly um, change screens or pause my screen for a second if I need to shuffle some things around like personal information, um, doing demos for y'all, so on and so forth. Um, so I've decided, however, that we are going to make the change and that is coming soon. Um, in the next probably two to three weeks. When we change over to streaming on Zoom, we will still stream on GoToWebinar. So I'll stream in both places for probably the first month until everybody kind of gets the picture of, hey, we're moving over to Zoom. So that way there are no mishaps and you don't accidentally miss a training or anything. Um, I wanna make sure everybody has time to get used to getting over on Zoom. And what I love about Zoom is that you can have your cameras on as well. And to, to be honest, to me, that that's the most exciting piece of it. Aside from Zoom just works better, has less technical issues. Um, for me to be able to see your face and your expressions while I'm training is going to probably excite me more because I'll see like when I show certain things, if like light bulbs start flashing, and it's just it'll be fun like i'm really excited about it you all always get to see me and connect with me now you'll have the option to allow me to also you know see you a little bit better um and so yeah that'll be coming in the next uh week or two we're, we're just kind of getting ready to dual stream and everything so um and then eventually we'll you know really just go solo on zoom uh yeah, so that's that. Um, currently, our, if you're new, our welcome screen is here. Uh, if you don't have a store yet, you can go to profitph.com slash free store and our software will build it for you. And I meant to bring my award up here. It's downstairs in the kitchen because uh, I just recently got it. Um, but our AI software that we built is has just been awarded by Shopify. Um, Shopify awarded me, and I'll, I'll pull this up later. Um, they have a whole website on Shopify.com about it, but I was awarded uh, most innovative endorsed commerce coach of 2023. And um, to me, that was like out of you know, the, the very few awards that there's like a, over a thousand people that are like commerce coaches, I guess, um, all over the world because Shopify is worldwide. And out of all of the different awards that they gave out, I was most uh, excited to get the one for most innovative because with the internet, creating the ease of use uh, and access to entrepreneurship and Shopify. Um, I'm always looking for how do I make this simpler for a newbie to get started? How do I make it simpler for a newbie to do product research? How do I make it simpler for a newbie, you know, to build a store? How do I make it simpler to, to, to do all these little things 
um, all these roadblocks. So to be recognized for the innovation um, that that we've you know uh, worked so hard over the last year to put together for you all um, directly by Shopify, get a physical award for it. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And also let you know that, you know, you are learning from someone that um, I'm probably not the best in the world, you know, like there's always somebody smarter. There's always somebody better. You'll never be the best, but you're learning from someone who has worked with Shopify now for roughly nine years and Shopify recognizes and, and says, hey, this is someone that we believe you should trust. And um, our tools, everything that's vetted by them, our apps, everything vetted by Shopify. So you're in the right place, in my opinion. And if you go to profitph.com slash free store for free, you can use this AI uh, awarded um, store builder and you'll, your store will be up and running in less than 20 minutes. Simple as that. You, there are upgrades available. Um, if me having an upgrade to a premium theme instead of the free theme offends you then just don't do it right um a lot of people you know, i can't give away a premium theme built by another developer for free like that's just how does that work that would be stealing so you have the option to upgrade to a premium theme um or you can just use shopify's free themes whatever you want to do but it's epic store builder below are 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 our recommended vendors there are other great vendors out there i just don't really recommend them unless you know i'm familiar with them and use them so these vendors right here are great vendors aside from aliexpress pillow profit shine on and drop cj drop shipping these are all partner links with them so it benefits you benefits me um if you don't want to use my partner link just go directly to their website i really don't care um yeah, that's up to you if, the, if you're that worried about it um but they generally will give you like free gifts and stuff like that that they give to Adrian Morrison students like shine on did the 105 free message cards and stuff like that. So, you know, there's a lot of benefits to going through these links. Um, all it does is just give you like more stuff. Um, okay. So also if you are new to the profit power hour, a couple of things, you should have access to the portal, the access Adrian portal. Um, inside of that Access Adrian portal, um, you will have a free membership area. So let me just pull that up real quick. Um, so inside of the portal, you'll have access to a free membership area called the Profit Power Hour. And most of these webinars, not all of them, um, but most of them are recorded and they are put here in this section. So like you could talk, you could go back and look at last week's training on um you know laser targeting for passion niches i really go over in a in a specific niche how do you break down the targeting for your ads how do you reach the best the best portion of the good customers right there's uh there's there's a massive group of of, of great potential customers but how do you squeeze it down to the best right and the sweetest and, and the the lowest hanging fruit if you will that's when I went over here. Um, so you can see I go inside Facebook and we start playing around with audiences and whatnot. Um, and then, of course, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers because um, honestly, I just want the little plaque thingy that they send because I don't know, like little awards make me feel better. Um, make me feel good. A little like dopamine rush. When Shopify sent this award, I was like, whoa, this is awesome. Like I, I showed my mom, I showed my brother, like my wife. And I even showed my kid. He didn't know what it is, but it's, it's just, I don't know. You know how, you know how it is. Um, it's always cool to get recognized for stuff. Um, yeah. So, so this is here now, uh, last week we did talk about, you know, uh, random, like finding a random niche. Actually, it was the week before, uh, we talked about these weird niches that you can find and you can, validate in Google Trends and you can start marketing. And, and listen, nothing's guaranteed. Like, I, I'm just, I'm not one of those guys that's gonna come on with fake Lambos and Airbnbs um, 
and say, oh, you're going to make 10 grand a month and 20 grand a month and all that. Because this, this, to be frank, it's, you know, it's bullshit. Anyone saying that they guarantee you're going to make 10 grand a month is full of it. Um, you, it's impossible to know what anyone's going to do, right? I could say, hey, look how I created a campaign that did 10K a month or 20K a month or whatever, right? This is all just, I'm making things up. Um, but just because I did it doesn't mean that it's going to be exactly replicated. Um, so just always understand that, like these webinars are not where, you know, I want to come on here, I want to be real with you. I just want to show you how to mitigate risk. I want to show you how to take calculated risk and avoid, you know, shooting from the hip because most people fail because they're shooting from the hip. They have no clue how to do Facebook targeting. They have no clue how to find these niches like this one right here that you can see is like just booming. Oh, well, that's Valentine's Day. So that one's stupid. That was, obviously, that's been February. Um, but there was another one that hit 100%. Um, it was quilting, I think it was. And then find products and stuff. Like, I want to show you how to find those niches, find the products in those niches, and give you a better chance when you launch ads or you do marketing. That's the key. And we know that one winning product can be significantly more valuable than 10 losers. So it's, you know, in one sense, um, it's survival of the fittest um, online, but really to be the fittest, you just have to be relentless. You just have to, you have to understand that you may not win the first time or second time, but that fifth or sixth time could be it. And it's, it's you know, he or she who who um, pushes harder and doesn't give up, those are the ones that usually hit, um, hit success, right? It's very rare that someone just launches something and it's just like this major lottery winner, right? Um, so that's what I do on here. We, like last week, we went over, you know, the, the quilting. It was the quilting niche. And we found some very low, uh, low cost products and they have great potential margin, like upwards of 10 X margin. And then we went into Facebook and I showed you how to target them. We found viral TikTok videos. We found, um, you know, uh, viral TikTok accounts. Um, we looked at it peaking right here in Google trends. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things to do. The next thing is finding ads that are selling similar products. So, that's what this webinar series is all about. And I hope that, that you enjoy that. Now, one of the things that has really been an issue for me is over the last, uh, I think it was like June. If you, if you were on my webinars back in June and July of 23, um, one of the things that, that we utilized a lot was Wikipedia. Okay. Now with Wikipedia, we were using this little trick that would give us uh, these little known, but very passionate and popular niches. We would type in list of hobbies, okay? And when we typed in list of hobbies, it would get, um, it would give us like this crazy list of hobbies that we could go through and we could find um, you know, we could find like these little golden goose eggs, um, that we could lean into. Like one of them was Sudoku. And then there was another one, uh, I forget what it was. Oh, bird watching. Like I'm not a bird watcher. I, I love birds. I mean, I love all animals. I'm not a hunter. Um, but this list led to us finding some incredible niches and incredible products. And then one day it just got deleted. Like someone went to Wikipedia, I guess, and decided they were going to delete the whole freaking list. So it's gone. You type in list of hobbies, look, it's gone. Where is it at? You know? Um, and, and that led us to, you know, looking for another website that listed a bunch of hobbies. And we did find one. Um, we found this, uh, which one was it? Uh, boredom Busted. 
but this list is like it just look at this how you have to search for everything and it doesn't have everything in here that was in wikipedia it's just it's not as much it looks like a lot because it has all these little extra you know blurbs but it doesn't have a lot um of the hobbies so it's like the, all those things that i wasn't thinking of that you know this little hack with wikipedia was helping me with dissipated and look y'all that happens sometimes but i was able to go back and i was able to get that list word for word um with oh, spending an immense amount of time and recreate the list that was once on wikipedia um we're not fully done with it but i just loading it into my software that i use for product research so i'm not going like before what i used to do is let me just get myself a blank page here so typically what we would do I just want to make sure everybody could see my screen. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. So um, Adrian's um, product research resources. I was going to Wikipedia. All right, so Wikipedia. <laughs> oh my God, I can't spell it. All right, this is Wiki. Um, and scrolling through list of hobbies. Then I was going over to uh, Google Trends. Then after that, I was trying to use Amazon API to find um, um, product sale stats, okay? Which you can't even do for free. Um, then I was going over to TikTok and I was scrolling through uh, videos. All right, um, trying to do research. Then on top of that, I was going to an ad spy tool uh, that is roughly like, you know, I think it's like 300 a month. Um, and this tool right here was roughly, uh, I think it was, don't quote me on this because I can't remember, but I think it's $1,200 a year. So it's an annual thing that you were paying. So um, these were paid tools. These were, were free tools. And I'm having to bounce all over the place. Then I was looking at, um, I was Googling Shopify stores selling items and looking at the different stores and how they were positioning the items they are selling and the prices. All right. Um, so this is kind of what I was doing. And none of this, this is how like how I would attempt to validate a product, right? Because I want to mitigate risk. Like if I'm going to spend money on an ad, be it five dollars or ten dollars, I want to know that my time and my money is is worth the you know, it's worth risking that. So when you validate a product, you basically are saying, okay, I now have data from Wikipedia, Google Trends, Amazon, TikTok, ad spy tools, looking at different Shopify stores. Also, um, you know, looking through vendor APIs at top sellers. Um, not, this isn't free. I don't know how much it costs though. Um, I just don't even, I get builds for so much stuff I don't even know anymore. But these are the different things. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So this is basically seven different sites, tools I bounce between. And then there is the whole creating a portfolio of validated products. Um, the portfolio is so, you know, is so I don't forget and I can advertise slash test them all. Because when you start doing product research, y'all, um, you're, you're gonna find that 
you're going to, you're going to discover a lot of different products. You're going to be like, Oh my God, which one do I do? You just got to choose one, but you don't want to forget about the ones that did pop up in your research. So anyways, over the, the, the last two years, I've been developing a tool that I've shown y'all since probably June, July. Um, and it, all of these things that I was doing, these seven different things I was doing, um, I combined into one. And the tool has not, you know, been perfect over the last two years, but it's given my team the ability to be more efficient, save me a bunch of money, um, and it's great. And I come on here and I show it to y'all. I, I come on here and I show you the tool and I let you do research with me. So you get the benefit from the tool for free when I use it and I do product research on here. Last week I showed it and I said, hey, look, in a couple of weeks, this is, you know, might be ready to launch. My developer told me that the tool is either going to be ready next week or the next. As soon as the tool is ready, because I get blown up in the DMs, I get blown up in a support box. Um, I get blown up in this chat of how can I get the tool? Um, we we are going to release the tool. I have not put a price on it yet, but I can tell you this, it's not going to be $1,200 a year and it's not going to be $300 a month, which just two of the things I used um, and I used to pay for costs, right? So you're not going to have to worry about that, but I do want to be transparent with you, upfront with you. And I want to tell you, we are going to launch it. You are going to get a, a crazy discount. There is not going to be an annual fee or a monthly fee for any of my students that get access to it. Um, there will be in the future because um, it's a software like you really want recurring revenue so you can continue to pay developers and API fees and all sorts of stuff. And it does all this stuff. Um, and I didn't actually mean to go through this whole list. I mean, I started, I was going to start by ta talking to you about the, the list of, I was really excited. I was able to recompile this list of uh, niches that we used to go to on Wikipedia. But yeah, we'll, we'll be launching it um, soon enough. So you just want to make sure that you are, in fact, on all of these webinars for the next two weeks to three weeks. Because when we launch it, it's going to be majorly discounted with no annual or monthly fee attached to it and you'll have the ability to take advantage of that and if you don't want to that's fine like you don't have to and i'll use it when i get on here and you can you know do product research with me once a week um and, and that'd be great like whatever works for you right but this is it um and by the way this is that list of hobbies oh oh my gosh thank you oh i cannot believe how long it took to do this uh, but we got it in here so it's easy like where do we want to start like do i want to baton twirling okay let's go do some research on uh baton twirling and let's see if there are any trending items from baton twirling or let's look and see if there are um, any ads running on TikTok, instagram um, or facebook for um ad twirling and let's see if there are any like hot products they're selling on walmart or Etsy or eBay or Amazon. Um, so these are all, look, as you could see here, these are all things. It's like the one-stop shop for us to figure out, you know, if something is worth our time. It's not guaranteeing us anything other than our time is better invested than shooting from the hit. So this will be uh, released in the next, by the way, how many of you in here would want to get this tool just say me or i want it or type in signal boost in the chat box um i'm not going to do like one of those webinars where we uh, you know like give you this whole like sales presentation and all this stuff like uh you know where it's secret thing get on the webinar and it's like a bait and switch you know bs thing i'm telling you weeks in advance that you'll have the opportunity to get the software and it's not going to be free, but it's going to be very cheap compared to all the stuff that I currently have to pay for uh, to do a fraction of what this can do. I'm trying to get my camera to focus, 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 focus. I don't know why I got out of focus. Um, all right. So, oh, and there's other things like, you know, uh, briefs. Basically, if you have a UGC content creator and you want them to look at different ads and products and stuff, 
um, you can set up a brief for them. I'll go through this later, but it's so you can send this brief to a content creator and they have everything they need to create ads for you. So it's gonna be a really cool software. Uh, but moreover, um, last week we were looking at um, quilting and somebody uh, said in the comments somewhere was in the GoToWebinar chat, um, you know, knitting is really big, which knitting did show up uh, there as well. So I figured this week, I would just type in knitting. And what we're doing now is we're pulling information from Amazon, like the top products that are being sold on Amazon right now for the keyword knitting. The process is not super fast. Uh, we're working on making it faster. I'm not releasing this until it, you know, um, everything is streamlined. I'm just like excited. So I'm telling you all about it. Um, and y'all get to kind of use it as I go through and debug it and, and all that stuff too. Um, so type in knitting. And what, it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna find the, uh, the top products for knitting. It's going to show us like the trends, which right now, instead of using Google Trends, we like import a lot of this data. Um, and we can search the data a little bit better um, here, but you can see that, you know, over the course of the year, knitting really, hit its peak on De like in December. And then January, it's still well above that 50 threshold. And then it looks like February, we're still at 65. So we're still in an area uh, where it's, you know, a viable, worthwhile um, hobby to hit. Um, it also will suggest different terms that people are looking for. So knitting knitting patterns knitting versus crow i don't even know how to pronounce that knitting needles knitting for beginners and you can kind of see knitting is getting like fifty thousand um searches a month which you know it's a decent bit and while you know we're looking at all that we're compiling data on stuff that is crushing it right now on amazon and knitting so this i don't even know why the heck this is coming up for knitting maybe it's people are um uh, this is why interest interesting thought okay very interesting thought sorry i just had an aha moment and this is why this is so cool i'm like why the heck is an led neck reading light coming up for the keyword knitting it's doing a million dollars a month in revenue according to this api pool 1.2 million dollars a month and I search for the key term knitting. And it makes sense that someone that is knitting might put this around their neck if they're knitting like, you know, by the fire or they're, you know, whatever. They're, they're knitting in a darker room. Um, very interesting. Like I would have never thought about this as a product to sell to people doing quilting and knitting and, and arts and crafts, but it would make sense to give you more light while you're doing the hobby. And I'm assuming that's, yeah, perfect for reading, knitting, camping, repairing. Voila, right there. Never would have associated a neck light with knitting, but $1.2 million a month. Here's another one that's in black that is doing 114,000 a month. Then you got the 73 piece um, kit here that is doing what? What is a 68,000 a month, um, 150 piece kit. There's another neck reading light. Now I'm very interested in the neck reading light because there's quite a few of them that like this, this one right here is 87 G's a month. So I'm gonna jump over here and let's just type in neck reading light for knitting. Okay, here's a similar item. There are quite a few different ones. Um, you know, these right here are four bucks. Let's see what shipping is though. Um, we want to know like, okay, shipping is an estimated another $3 and 13 cents. So we're looking at, you know, roughly seven, $8 out the door. I just, oh my God, I'm genuinely shocked. Like I would have never thought an led light like this would be something that would work in the knitting niche. I need, I've never even advertised in the knitting niche. This is just because of a comment someone made anyways. Um, so eight bucks now signal boost, um, my software you can see that they're selling this for $20. So, you know, $8 out the door, this one's selling for 20 bucks. There's a decent bit of margin there. 
um, and they're doing $1,200 a, a month in revenue and their gross profit, according to Amazon, is about $16.80, uh, which makes sense because the product's only four bucks. I don't know if they include shipping in that or not. Um, so, you know, just we'll we'll dive into this knitting a little bit more um, next next week. It's still performing the search, right? And it's showing us that it still, you know, makes sense to advertise something like this. And there are a lot of searches for this. And these little search terms sometimes can help you find little um, sleeper products depending on, you know, search volume. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. But this list of hobbies right here, this for me was huge. And this is how we have stumbled upon a lot of really incredible niches and, and products. So um, that's it for tonight. Uh, maybe go look at this reading light that we pulled up here. Um, definitely go check this out. Um, go to Facebook, type in some knitting keywords like I showed y'all last week. This might be a banger right here. Who knows? Um, it looks like it's crushing it on Amazon right now, though. And next week, make sure that you are here because next week or the next, we're going to be releasing Signal Boost and you have the opportunity to get it at a ridiculous discount because you are our personal students. The rest of the world probably going to be paying monthly or annual fee for it. You will not have to do that. Um, it's kind of like our gift, our small group of, of students to get on these webinars. So um, be be prepared for that. I'll email you. I'll try to let you know. But when we do the when when Tisha tells me it's ready. That week, I'm going to do the webinar so everybody can get access. Because the longer you don't have access to this, the more time you're going to waste, the more money you're going to waste, and the more frustrated you're going to be doing product research the old way, jumping around seven different places, spending a lot more money. So um, that said, uh, go check out this. Find it on AliExpress. Probably find it on Zendrop. We'll dive into this more next week. I'm going to, we'll go into Facebook. We'll start looking at targeting. Let's focus on this product for next week. Okay. That's it for tonight. I love you all. Wish you all a ton of success and I will see you next week, Tuesday night, 9 PM EST, same place, same time right here with the boy on profit power hour. Good night y'all.